Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on problem solving working backwards. Some problems by their very nature can be solved by working backwards. Example 1. If I think of a number and multiply it by 3 then add 7 I get an answer of 22. What is the original number? Now let's look at the solution. If we work backwards we have now originally it says I add 7 because we're working backwards remember and the answer we got was 22 so we're working backwards okay so we take 22 and we subtract 7 from it. So 22 minus 7 equals 15. Now remember the opposite operation of adding is subtraction. That's the clue there. So we have to subtract 7 to end up with 15. Now originally we multiplied the number by 3. So the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So after that divide 15 by 3. So that's the 15. Then we divide 15 by 3 to give us 5. So the original number is 5. Now let's quickly check the answer here to see if that is actually correct. So if I think of a number and multiply it by 3, 3 fives are 15. Then add 7. 15 plus 7 is 22 and that is correct. So the original number was 5 which is correct. Second example, Mary baked some cupcakes. She ate three of them and sold nine of them. If she had 12 cupcakes left, how many did she bake? So here are the 12 cupcakes. Let's look at the solution. If we work backwards, we have take 12 and add nine to it. Okay because it says she sold 9. So 9, selling 9 is like subtraction. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so 12 plus 9 is 21. After that, add another 3 to 21, because when you eat 3, that's subtraction. So in other words, the opposite of subtraction is addition. So 21 plus 3 gives us 24. So Mary baked 24 cakes. So they were the original number of cakes that were baked. Okay, so there's an example of solving problems by working backwards. And we have seen how it's important to use the opposite operation when you are working backwards.